hi everyone welcome to my channel okay so there is always a need to improve performance in spark and hive for different operations like filter map and uh, you know aggregations or any kind of joins so you will you, most of the time in production or in your development environment you will face performance issues so as part of today's video i'm going to discuss a very less known technique to improve the performance it's very effective so it has been with hive and with spark uh, since 2016 uh, with hive it has been available since hive 0.13 and with spark it has been available since, since i think 2016 so uh, it's a very effective way so if you are facing any problems with hive or spark for the join performance and all that you can use it as one of the techniques to uh, improve your performance so the technique is hive and spark vectorization so uh, let's not waste time and uh, start with the explanation of this okay before i uh, start with that uh, i want to request you all to please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends if you have any feedback then please share it in the comment section and if you have any questions on which you want us to make a, a video uh, then please share it in the comment section we'll definitely make a video on that okay so what is vectorization so uh, in spark generally you know if you are not using vectorization by default vectorization is false it's, it's not enabled uh, in hive also uh, if you try to process the data if you try to process your rdd or your data set uh, then it processes it row by row which, whichever execution engine you are using and in, in in vectorization you can ask the processing engine let's take an example of hive you can ask hive to take a bunch of rows and process them together now uh, this enhances performance of your program a lot so you can decrease the cpu usage for different operations like filter map aggregate and uh, join kind of operations so you can ask hive to process batch of 1024 rows in one shot and and it will process it and you'll get a amazing performance boost now we should understand that why it is giving us this performance boost so it, it happens that uh, uh, first of all you know if, if you want to use vectorization it is mandatory to use some sort of uh, columnar uh, file storage so your columnar file storage format can be ORC or it can be Parquet so with uh, Spark normally I have seen people using Parquet with Hive uh, normally ORC is the format uh, which I have seen so uh, a columnar format is must for uh, using vectorization it's a precondition so so uh, what columnar format does it stores all the values of a column in that particular block in a single row so if you want only that column's data it can just pick read that in one shot and give it to you without parsing the whole uh, you know file so uh, that's what makes it advantageous for using vectorization in vectorization uh, you can take a block you can take a array of a, a, a column is treated as an array so you can just apply uh, you can just iterate through that array and uh, uh, you know uh, and, and create a new array which will be the output and you don't have to pass through the whole set of records so the number of cpu cycles you end up consuming is very less and uh, um, since your data is already in primitive types stored in primitive types and in columnar format you don't have to do object inspections after passing the data to validate the data and all that and it it, it seems like that uh, uh, the low level code that will be generated the commands uh, at C, uh, that will be passed to cpu uh, will be far can be far more uh, uh, optimized uh, if we are using uh, vectorization and uh, the speed of computation will be very high so if you are using 
if you are not using vectorization then it can happen that uh, uh, hive will generate some uh, hive will treat it as a uh, anonymous function and it will uh, uh, it will try to uh, do it in a function way e taking each row as separately uh, uh, with that you know data caching locality will not be possible uh, if you are using vectorization uh, since you will be processing all the records 1024 uh, records in a single iteration you could take uh, uh, advantage of uh, caching locality also so uh, these all things will give you a huge performance boost uh, and uh, you'll get f far more you know better performance in your uh, uh, in your in your results so it, it is must to use a columnar, columnar format as i mentioned earlier to use vectorization you you have to set this property true hive dot vectorize dot execution dot enabled is equal to true uh, uh, parquet files also have a parquet vectorized implementation which can be used with spark and you can make your joints even far more faster uh, you know uh, with spark so uh, i hope this video was useful uh, if you have any questions please post it in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer those questions uh, we have other videos in our uh, uh, spark interview series uh, which i feel will be very useful for you for uh, clearing any interview uh, please subscribe to our channel and watch the videos in the uh, spark playlist